In the heart of a desolate, fog-shrouded town, there stood an imposing structure known as the Hawthorne Asylum. Once a place of healing, it had long been abandoned, shunned by the townsfolk for the eerie stories that surrounded it. The asylum was rumored to be haunted by the restless spirits of the patients who had suffered within its walls. It was said that their anguished cries could still be heard on the wind, carried by the mournful wails that echoed through the town on dark, stormy nights. A group of thrill-seekers, drawn by tales of the asylum's haunted history, decided to explore the decaying building one chilling autumn evening. Armed with flashlights and cameras, they ventured into the heart of the forsaken asylum, the air heavy with the scent of decay. As they moved deeper into the asylum's labyrinthine corridors, they encountered signs of its grim past, rusted restraints, shattered windows, and faded patient records that told stories of pain and suffering. The group's bravado began to wane as they realized the horrors that had occurred within these walls. They soon reached the basement, a place of utter darkness and despair. As they descended the creaking stairs, their flashlights flickered and died one by one, leaving them in utter darkness. Panic set in as they fumbled for their phones to provide some semblance of light. In the dim glow of their phones, they saw something that made their blood run cold. Shadows seemed to dance and contort on the walls, taking on the twisted forms of tormented souls. Unearthly whispers filled the air, echoing with the anguish of the asylum's long-forgotten patience. Desperate to escape, they stumbled back up the stairs, but the asylum seemed to have other plans. The doors slammed shut, trapping them inside. Frantic, they tried to force the doors open, but they wouldn't budge. As the group huddled together in terror, they heard the sound of approaching footsteps, each footfall heavy and agonized. Emerging from the darkness, the apparitions of former patients materialized before them, their faces twisted in agony and eyes empty of life. One by one, the spirits reached out, their icy fingers touching the members of the group. With each touch, the living were overcome by the pain and suffering that the patients had endured. Their screams of terror joined the chorus of the tormented souls that haunted the asylum. Only one member of the group managed to escape, fleeing the asylum in sheer terror. The town's legend of the Hawthorne Asylum grew darker still, a grim reminder that some places are forever tainted by the suffering they have witnessed, and that the horrors of the past can reach out to claim the living.